Hello JS viewers, today we are going to deal about accessing or downloading the most important data that is basimetric data uh, free from uh, any cost or freely from uh, the uh, accessible sites. So uh, basically first, what is uh, basimetric data and what is its functionality? Basimetric maps can help scientists to determine whether fish and other marine life feed, live and breed. So, basimetric data is also used to create maps of uh, global habitats that is to assist uh, conservation and monitoring. So, what is the function of these basimetric maps? So, basimetric map shows or illustrates the land that lies under water or variations in the sea floor, that is, in land water in relation to the surface of the earth. So, yeah, this uh, data or this map, the, uh, if you have a basimetric data, then you have a basimetric map. So, this map shows how to monitor uh, and conserve the sea environment uh, for further study. So, today we are going to download this uh, map simply this map from the site firstly we uh, you can open any browser that is convenient to, to you uh, in my case i have a, a chrome browser so i am going to write basimetry maps i have searched it earlier so it is pop up then search so after writing basimetry maps this gbco uh, comes as the first place. This means the general basimetric chart of the oceans. So it deals about the oceans and uh, associated uh, seawater environments. So click on the GBCO site. So if you click this, uh, this interface comes a uh, home data and products, uh, training news, and uh, other features you can explore. You can explore further, further, further information and further documents from here. Uh, this is our the uh, managing editors, the uh, CEO, the chairmen uh, who administer and are responsible for this uh, organizations across the world. So, uh, as you can see here, this is a general basimetric chart of the oceans. So, this is our visions. Uh, so uh, our interest is to download the map so directly go to download gpco global grid so, then click once if you click once then you are uh, you can get uh, through different kinds of links so we are going to uh, we are going to download the most latest one which is released in 2022 the GPCO 2022 grid and the TID grid can be downloaded as a global files in, in its CDF format or set of eight tiles, each with an area of 90 by 90, giving a global coverage in easily uh, sky raster and data uh, geotiff. So uh, you can download uh, with different formats as you want uh, and uh, convenient to your further analysis. These are highlighted in the blue color download data for user defined areas so we are we define our areas to download the uh, target uh, our study area rather than downloading the whole world which is very difficult for it to uh, do to its size so use our application to select and download data data in HCD. as you can see here if you want to simply download the uh, global data click on this so, uh, you don't need to uh, further uh, further processes, but it, uh, as I told you earlier, due to its uh, size and other related issues, we uh, directly go to user defined uh, area. So use our application. Click on application. If you go to click on application, this interface comes. This interface has select the grid version. I, as you can see here, uh, uh, global uh, division to uh, 2022 
2022 uh, North Polar Region, North Polar Service. Uh, different kinds of regional data are available 2021 and the rest, etc. Et uh, data are available, but our interest is uh, uh, 2022, the latest release uh, uh, downloads. Directly go to your interest area, for example. For example, uh, you can uh, download any country, any uh, wherever you are placed in the world. But in, uh, for uh, this purpose, let me select around this. this uh, let this is uh, uh, my interest. So let me let me. Uh, what we are going to do is press control in your uh, keyboard and draw a rectangle for your interest area. So this is my interest area when I draw this rectangle. It gives what? It is coordinates. It is coordinates. So if I don't want these coordinates and I if I want to change these coordinates, uh, just hit uh, clear. So select formats. If you to the NTCD, if by the way this data can be, this uh, data can be converted to GeoTIFF and uh, vice versa. So, but in order not to go to that process, uh, just uh, select GeoTIFF. GeoTIFF. So, after uh, selecting the uh, GeoTIFF file format, GeoTIFF. Uh, uh, File size estimated one megabyte, it's estimated. Then click R2 baskets. So go to view baskets. Download your data. Download your data. Preparing your basket for to be downloaded, it says. So keep it till you are going to access your data. Okay. So it comes to be downloaded, as you can see, it is zip, so download the data, hit download simply, okay, let me zero two folders, okay, as you can see, it is a zipped file, so let me uh, take to my folder, which I can access to ArcMap. This is a JS data, so let me put this here. Let me put it. Let me. So it is still yet a zip file. So a zip file is not directly accessed by ArcMap. So I, I need to unzip uh, this or extract files. Extract files. Okay. Okay. So so. If I want to, yes, this is TBC 25 October. Uh, it is the day of accessing the data 25 October 2022. So the, it is a day of accessing or downloading the data. After I have already downloaded the data, let me open to ArcMap. So let me open ArcMap. ArcMap is already open, so let me uh, add my data. I extract files, JS data, GBCO. So this is a raster file that I have downloaded from G the GBCO environment or the uh, data, data accessing portal. This shows that the uh, variation is between the inland and the surface of the inland waters in the associated uh, environments. So if you want to change the, yes, this is the drainage patterns of the inland waters. So you can uh, make some amendments or some changes in symbology and properties. Yes, as you can see, high 40,212 40, and the lowest elevation uh, 
uh, around the water bodies and the sea environment, uh, the water environment is 1,100. This is uh, the elevation compared to the water body environment and the sea surfaces. So this is uh, the raster data then the based to, uh, you can uh, extract by user study area uh, simply by overlaying the shape files so of the vector data and you can extract them as a clip and uh, use for uh, especially for uh, shipping and uh, ma marine activities this data is very useful and very uh, important again if you go to this site you can access wherever in the world wherever in the world you can you can access uh, the data uh, the methodology uh, that i showed you earlier that i showed you earlier so this is the most important part the most in, uh, one of the most important parts as you know accessing or getting the real the up to the, the up to date and the real uh, data is very difficult in this time so such kinds of uh, data is very important regardless of costs and uh, much more uh, expenses. So this is what we have today. If you are new to this YouTube, please subscribe, comment and share. Thank you for watching.